Okay, we've just had a look at the lease liability and we looked at fixed payments, didn't we? Now I want us to think about in substance fixed payments. So what does in substance actually mean? So they're fixed in substance, meaning they are variable payments, but actually they're fixed because they're unavoidable. You're going to have to pay them. And so therefore, it's like having a fixed payment. So you include in substance fixed payments as well. Uh, another way of explaining in substance fixed payments would be something that in your lease was a variable, but now is fixed. Let me explain it a bit more with some examples. Here's a variable payment only if the asset is capable of operating do I have to pay it. So it's not fixed because it's variable because it depends on something happening. But look, is it capable of operating? Well, of course it's capable of operating. So that's unavoidable and so therefore that's not actually a variable payment, that's a fixed payment. In substance, it's a fixed payment. Now, you might get given two sets of payments you would use, if only one was realistic, then you would use the one that's realistic. But what if you got two realistic sets of payments, possible payments to pay? Uh, then you would use the lowest amount. Because again, you think, well, that's probably the one that will be paid. It's the one that the lessee will try to pay. Okay, so just to recap then, lease liability... Fixed payments, definitely have to include that in the present value of our lease payments. We also have to include any in-substance fixed payments. And then now what we're going to go on to after that is variable payments. Now we only include variable payments if they're in-substance fixed, but we only include these ones, proper variable ones, if the variability depends on a rate or an index. So we'll explain that more in the next lecture.